Hello, welcome to August. My name is Faye. I'm from Your Heart's Path and we're going to spend the next little chunk of time together having a look at the energies for the month of August. I share this insight to empower you, to support you in your spiritual journey, your awakening. I'm going to share lots of tips and tools and also what it is that uh, Spirit have shared with me as uh, foresight into the themes that we're going to be experiencing for the next few weeks. So August has already begun. It started off with a bit of a doozy as July was a very challenging month mentally and emotionally, I want to say, which simultaneously kind of manifested physically and energetically. That was a mouthful. But what I want to say from that is that we've sort of spent this first few days, I have anyway, really sort of getting very really realistic about where we are at. And with the challenges that occurred through the month of July, we've almost got this reset button. And I think I feel like we're in preparation for the reset, which will lead us into the Lionsgate portal, which we'll get into. But what we've had a look at is our behaviors and our patterns, our reactions, our emotions to our life and living and where we are content and where we would like to make adamant change. And I feel like we've had a really realistic approach at where we are vibrationally. And for those of you that have had the courage to sit in a space and really speak your truth this month and put yourself out there, my like deepest, like well done, because I really feel like this was... It was a it was a month that felt almost like we just wanted to shut away and those who have been able to speak out I feel like could have received challenges with uh, almost needing external validation or feedback in order to feel that inner confidence so confidence was had a look at had a look we had a look at confidence we had a look at a whole array of things that have kind of given us a good shake and we've also had a little bit of a reality check so the vulnerability hangover is actually really beautiful. It's a place of contemplation. This is a place where we almost move into preparation to start to do things a little bit differently so as that we are in more alignment with our life, with our soul's path, with our heart, with goodness, with kindness, with staying in a vibration and working on that vibration to lift your love and light quote and, and on this spiritual journey of awakening. You know, we do come across these challenges. So really right now, taking a nice deep breath in, I almost want to say forgive yourself for the, the pieces that might have felt like you lost yourself momentarily. Uh, we do this in order to come back to a space that is, um, you know, I, I want to say it's part of the learning. It, it really is. And so our weaknesses become our strength. And that's, that's such a, a human lens to look at it from. I do apologize about the noise in the background. My dryer is going. So after this uh, vulnerability hangover, um, I want to say that we're getting better at resting, which is really beautiful. I feel like this is something that's going to journey through the month of August, but it's less of a sleepy, withdrawn hermit mode month, and it's much more of a integration through action. It's the words that they use, so integration through action and actually following through with this insight or the lens that we've had as to like, okay, my lifestyle is actually not feeling like it's in alignment with me. My greater vision, I can see myself in a warmer temperature. I can see myself traveling. I can see myself meeting new people. I see myself in a, a fitter, healthier physical body. It's like no more beating around the bushes, though this is something that's a decade away. It's, it's actually integration through action. So... There are going to be prompts and almost invitations that take a little bit of courage and a bit of energy from a place that might actually feel a little flat, but you will get the fuel really quickly if you follow through. And when I say fuel, you're energized by your yes. You're energized by your following through with what it is that uh, is calling you. So I wouldn't say it's a month of taking like really big, deep risks. They actually flagged like hallucinogenics and plant medicine, um, out-of-body experiences through substances as a bit of a no-no. If that's something that um, you entertain, it's not something that I can do as a, a clear channel. Um, that's for another day or private container. But I would just be really wary um, as it can feel like we want to nudge um, or we want some extra support or some, but we have the data. That's basically what I want to say. We have the data and this really needs to be a grounded approach that it can feel like we're taking little risks, but really it's just momentum into the unknown. And it's actually in those places that get us to more in alignment with that pinnacle of the vision that I really want you to hold I want to say actually lightly, hold lightly, but also hold kindly. 
<laughs> Let's jump into this Lionsgate portal. I'm not going to channel a heap around this. There's beautiful astrologers all over the internet that are going to talk about this much more in depth and probably already have. But the way that uh, Spirit shared this with me was almost like that feeling when you're a little kid and you make a wish at your birthday. Uh, you know, when you really believe this and it's something that I still do. You know, Or when you see a shooting star and you go outside and you take that moment and you... You really feel into the mysticism of life and you request and you ask for what it is that you desire from this just like delicious place of almost abundance and like life is already full of but but why not i have this opportunity it comes around once a year and i'm, I'm going to place my wish into the universe i want you to transfer that kind of almost innocent childlike anything is possible type of energy and I really want you to bring this into the space where we look at it as the lens of manifestation but I want you to have fun with your creation and yes this is going to be in alignment with your vision but it can also be something that is I want to say like it's new it's innovative it might surprise you when you drop into that space and you go what is it you know uh, and ask your guides ask your higher self what is for my higher self to manifest at this time how can I be of contribution or service to the planet how can I get closer to the lifestyle that I really want to be living and 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 do this with your heart it's not a head thing this is not about fame and glory this is not about putting yourself on a pedestal this is not about better it's it feels rich and it feels beautiful and I also feel like there's great insight behind the how we do through this Lionsgate portal as how we are doing the rest of our life and potentially how we would want to do it differently so if it gets to the new moon and the full moon and you know, I'm guilty of this, by the way. <laughs> if it gets to the new moon and the full moon, you're like, oh, you know what? I can't really bother to zhuzh up my aura. Uh, I, I'm too tired to make an, um, you know, a, a, my goals for the next couple of weeks. I, all these little sort of petty excuses. No more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> I make this something beautiful with what you have. You don't have to spend a heap of money. Get some tea light candles. You know, be creative. I almost want to say if you can do your manifestation ritual around this Lionsgate portal a little differently and a little uniquely, you might be more present because it's it's not something that you've done a thousand times over. I really want this to be something very sacred. Sexual energy is really high. So perhaps manifestation through, um, you know, self-pleasure ritual. Perhaps it's about... I want to say be really creative and an example of that I love to draw in order to manifest so because that's something that I would do quite regularly perhaps I look at doing something that's kind of completely different like going outside and making a fire and throwing into the fire my wishes in that space or making a beautiful cake and and sitting down and placing my intentions in this and putting a candle on it and making my wish like all of this ritual doesn't have to be something that is um like perhaps our ego's perception of that space. It's really the energy, the quality of the energy that we, we bring in with intention in that space and, and to approach this from a really beautiful and sacred manner um, would be a nice time to collectively come together as well as I really feel like we are moving from what has been quite a selfish month in July, which was really necessary, into something that feels more expanded and service-based. So it's very heart orientated, which does mean that you're still looking after yourself but it also there's a it's your why is is really deeply being impacted by community by tribe by wanting to make this place this planet a better place to be and with a realistic approach of where we're actually at and mother earth is actually at in her ascension journey as well so I kind of love that if you are in a place where you feel like you want to call your, your brothers and your sisters together to perhaps have a circle and, and share your wishes in this place. And when I say wishes, that's actually like it sounds like a strange word to use, but I want to use that instead of manifestation because manifestation can feel like hard work and it's not hard work. So let this be light. Let this be playful. If you are in a space where you have no real insight as to what it is that you want to journey over the next six to eight months, then <clears throat> as far as what, what do you call in to manifest at this point in time then perhaps you go into this space with um, and ask for a download ask for a download of pure love and light from your higher self um, a new idea some new inspiration work with the essence level to feel more alive magnetic energized you know it's it's work with 
the feeling sensation and what it is that you want to experience because I do believe we have the data if that's not right on the surface then just take some moments of contemplation um, to self-realize what it is that you feel like you might be lacking um, and when I say lacking I feel like we've had we looked into some pretty deep dark shadows through the month of July so it feels really realistic, but it also feels super playful. So approach this from a different angle and have fun with it. It's like the lighter and the, the more gentle you can be in this approach. I feel like the faster this actually comes to be, the faster this manifests, the softer your body feels and the more open your heart is in that space. So <clears throat> as far as the Lion's Gate portal, I, I don't really want to go into that anymore. I'm just checking that I haven't missed anything. Yeah, I just, it was more just this like shift in awareness um, and a readiness that will take courage and trust. I love that. So the unknown, yet we can place elements in that, but we don't have to get caught up on how that comes back into life. So I do feel like we've had this period and it was going to continue and it always does through our journey of, of how deeply we trust the universe, how much faith we have in ourselves and in our spirit guides and in our where we are in this now moment, but also knowing that we have the ability to create change without getting stuck or stagnant or frozen or paralyzed in in the discomfort, knowing and trusting that we're exactly where we are meant to be. And we also have everything that we need in order to take the next step. So we do have some momentum going now, which is really beautiful with little bits of energy to take the action, knowing that when you do jump in, we get a big boost of energy and we're supported to kind of continue moving forward in that space. Beauty. Next theme. I love this right now. And normally I would say beauty from the inside flourishes out and it definitely does. That would be my core belief in this space. But spirit have approached this from almost like an external perspective. So I really love like beauty and oh, I do this because I feel like hair. I'll get to that later. But beauty, like take care of yourself. If you are working from home, put on some beautiful clothes in the morning. Do some makeup if that makes you feel good. Put candles around your house. Nice scents, nice smells. They highlighted hair, skin and nails in particular. Um, it, it just sort of feels like take the extra piece in order to make yourself feel beautiful from the outside. It It's almost like then it matches your inside because sometimes we feel like we can feel really beautiful on the inside and, and then we don't do much for to take care of this outside body piece. Um, or we do because it's quite natural or, or it's almost like the insecurities around that come up like am I afraid of shining too bright is my outfit too much is it the get into it I, I feel like express yourself um, express yourself and the beauty that you are uh, it would be a beautiful time for skin treatments going get your hair done I don't know I don't get my eyelashes done but maybe that's something you know nails these sorts of things like pamper um, these things don't have to be expensive either. You could make clay, you know, masks at home with ingredients from your cupboard. Be playful, um, but embrace beauty. And I also feel like spending time in beautiful environments. So no matter where you are in the world, there's always places that you can go and walk. The Botanical Gardens here in Hobart, Tasmania is really beautiful. That's somewhere that's been calling me. Beaches, nature, get out there and just appreciate the beauty of life as I feel like we're going to have some things popping up in the world that kind of make us sit back and kind of go, whoa, this human experience is, can be really dark and dense. And, you know, there are <clears throat> things that are happening that can feel quite the opposite of beautiful so it's really important to be with this energy it feels very hard orientated there's a softness in it again it sort of uh, allows us to settle in the body and it helps with our mental mind as well which has kind of gone on a whirlwind of <laughs> dimensions <laughs> fluctuations in vibration um and that's something that I really want you to be mindful of as well. Uh, do the work with your mental body this month. We are always going to need to be connected to the basics of our mental body and how we are, what we are thinking that ends up creating our reality. So if your mind feels like it's become lazy, if it's feeling quite negative, then this would be a beautiful time to plug back into what can feel maybe even boring or like, oh, I've already done all of that with the affirmation piece or but go there because it's really important right now because it's very easy to swing off 
one side too far and feel very caught up in the anxiety and the depression side of things that I feel like is an imbalance in the energetic body at times as well. If you need support in that area, please go do so. Something like hypnotherapy would be really beautiful at this time or chanting, sounding, anything that helps you speak your reality into truth from the a language of love, not from a place of fear. <clears throat> With the beauty piece, they also brought in posture. I, I Check this. Check how you are standing. How are you holding yourself um, through the month of August? I feel like if we've been in a place where we felt hunched over or the shoulders are heavy or there are tight spots in the body, there's really an invitation to work with that and to feel into that. We can really connect much more deeply with our core when we are up straight. Um check this, check your reflection and like, oh, you know, reposture, reposition yourself. It actually does help the energy flow through our body better. So practices that allow for this to happen, but also just bringing some mindfulness around posture and how you can actually utilize that to really connect to your power. Not in like a, hmm, here I am. It's more of a, like a, a comfort in the body, a strength in who you are in this right now moment. Um, it sort of feels like a deeper love and it feels very heart connected. It's a huge month of heart. Um, and I want your heart open, not closed. And we get lazy like that, right? But the body speaks in the same way that if we are feeling that way, the body responds, but we can open the body and then the, the rest of it responds. So it's almost like we, we're approaching things from a different angle. Like with beauty, I would normally suggest and spirit would almost say work from the inside out, but sometimes the outside in is also really complementary to the journey. So I, I really do like that. Make an effort. Um, and, and take that time to go and see beautiful things, art galleries, museums, these sorts of things that just really, oh, you know, Oh, I love it. Anyway, where are we moving? I want to go into, we'll get to those after. So we've got a few more to run through, but a new wave of awakening. I actually feel like this, when they shared this with me, I was like, it's after the Lionsgate portal that we really start to notice this in our reality. It's actually happening right now. There's almost like a new wave of those who maybe where you were five years ago, it's, it's all like the beginning of your journey, you know, when kind of life changed and you're like, whoa, things are getting weird. Everything's connected and the synchronicities and there's a whole new wave of beautiful beings as everybody is that are actually having their boom, 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 wake up right now. And when that happens, they need support. So if you are in the industry of supporting and helping other people, please don't be afraid of your basics because your basics are always, always, always going to be foundational pieces for those who are traveling a road that you have already trod. And it's priceless as it becomes part of your everyday regular practice. It's, it can still be foreign to somebody else. So please don't be afraid to go back to what feels really simple and easy for you to share those pieces because, um, I just feel like it's really going to be needed. And I also feel like this is really deeply connected to expression. I feel like there'll be conversations had this month where, you know, it's almost like synchronicity. You get to be part of somebody else's synchronistic experience and there's an opportunity to really speak your truth, share with where you're at, what, what you journeyed. It's like I love this kind of healing through story um, for those that are are coming with us but are, are just at a different stage of evolution and we have a responsibility to, to help in that space, to be of service in that space. So I do really like that. Um, it's... It kind of stems back, I just want to trickle this piece in with the mental body, um, where I spoke about how that can be, like it's really important this month to be mindful of that, as I felt like a huge cosmic influence this month. And yes, we have the portal piece, but I've been seeing lots of different aliens and different beings, kind of, um, it's almost like new channels are actually opening up right now. So you could have uh, almost an experience of like guides leaving and a different ex um, support system coming through. But when we have big portals and openings like this, it's really important that our mind and our energy and our vibration becomes a match to light, right? Because we, there are all sorts of things. We're in a duality-based experience here on earth to some degree where we actually learn. So without the darkness, we can't really feel the lights, this kind of uh, experience. But when we have these big boosts of energy and we've got like a big cosmic download, 
the other interferences can play a part and this is not something I really speak about over YouTube more in my intimate containers or if you're doing intuitive development with me but we do want to be aware that there are less than love energies out there and also they play on our weaknesses so please be mindful and I think that's that part as well with the you know the hallucinogenics and these sorts of things they open up doors and gateways so unless you have the skills and abilities to be able to close these down um I would be really mindful of that right now call in your protection you know utilize your protection practices where you feel like you need to obviously that brings in grounding we can only be protected if we're grounded inside of our body that's something you can look at through my found uh foundations of intuitive living course you'd find that through instagram or i'll pop the link below not a sales pitch i really do mean this this is it's it's really important um as these forces can get very loud when we have a big dump of uh light as it kind of can ex it's almost like it can be like a bit of a test that's how i like to see it anyway it's like oh interesting this less than love energy shown up in my space where has my weakness been in order to allow that in because it's been a match to me in some way so i just feel like it's um be aware there be aware if you are channeling if you are working with spirit always check are you of the light are you of the light are you of the light there's lots of different mechanisms that we can bring into this space but uh, and not from a fear-based place either just from more of a place of being in your connected to truth we really want to be in a space where we're connected to truth and that being your mind as well. So if your mind is saying awful things or it has been and you've gone on that loop, it's not love and you are love. And so we go from this like basic point of coming back to what we really deeply, truly are and being a match for that. You needed speak up. That was like a simple little line. You needed speak up. I need to hear this myself as well because I'm just like, <laughs> but you're needed speak up in family environments, friendships, relationships, acquaintances, random synchronicities. Tell your story, share your experience. Um, perhaps not from huge inflated emotional responses, um, but from that really lovely calm space. I feel like we can be reflecting on the past right now as to like, um wow i've come a long way wow i've got a lot of wisdom to share wow i and other be available to learn from other we are all in this together and i just feel like everyone has this beautiful flavor like different spices to add to this wonderful experience and we can learn from each other in that space and the energetic exchange uh so speak up use your voice also listen uh listen when you are in exchange with other uh sometimes we can be waiting just to say the next thing so being bringing presence into your conversations um depth into your conversations heart stuff it's delicious what does that say stop beating around the bushes <laughs> i think that's kind of connected into that space hey zero more procrastination just give it a crack you know, it's, um, you're not going to sit here in six months time and go, oh, you know, I wish I didn't have that conversation or speak my truth in that place or mm -mm -mm. I, we almost need to lighten up in that arena, less serious. And when we kind of go, you know what, like shake off the seriousness of all of this again, it's like the spirit sits really deeply into this, the lower parts of the body, the softness and then openness occurs. And I feel like kindness can really come through for self and for other in that place. So stop being around the bushes sounds a little bit harsh, but that's just how they said it. So I trust. Um, clairvoyance is amplified as the emotional, um, I like this, as the emotions that have been clouding the vision dissipate. Uh, when we are in a hugely heightened emotional experience, it can actually be quite hard to hear the intuition uh it can feel more like reaction based and that's where the confusion often comes from so more of like a responsiveness but it's through calmness that we hear this space so i feel like these heightened emotions whether that's been anger and rage fury frustration distress anxiety whether it's been huge spurts of joy huge spurts of inspiration this kind of really heightened emotions as they sort of like settle and we become more it almost feels like complacency or like balance, um, quietness. The vision starts to get really loud here. So, you know, I love clairvoyance. Come to me if this is your thing. Um, but I do feel like we're going to be having visions, dream time, visions, pay attention to these. Even if sometimes, you know, my, my guides might show me like a, I'm just seeing now, like an owl sitting on a fence. And 
once upon a time I might not have known what that was symbolically, but sometimes just paying attention and, and, and focusing on what it is that you do see, even if it's like, I'm not 100% sure right now, but just take note. It's like when we see angel numbers, you know, you can go on Google and research what they mean, or you can be kind of just like, I'm just taking note right now of this experience right now. Get really present. And it feels like we can have little messages drop in through the month of August where we see something and maybe it takes a week or so for the like full clarity to come through. So I love this. Be playful, take note of them, write them down, draw your visions, write down your dreams, things that are happening <clears throat> in this space here. Um, and I do feel like we can really find that sweet spot between the imagination and reality um, where I feel like the vision piece or the clairvoyance, um, you know, gets really, really strong. It's just so my favorite thing. Basics are always needed was another thing that they've just added in there. We do know that. I talk about it all the time, um, but especially when it comes to big bursts of energy, when we're having big cosmic downloads, and these can be simple things like making sure that you're taking rest, eating good food, drinking lots of water. It, it, it's the basics, um, and I, I, I do really like that. I also feel like there's almost like opportunities to do new courses, work with different people. If there's something that's been sort of hovering around in your space where you're like, you know what, I do need to upgrade my protection piece. And so I'm going to go do the work to make sure that I have the tools so I can bring them into my life so that I can take the next step feeling safe and secure. Um, maybe it's more of a somatic experience. Maybe it's, you know, I sort of feel like committing to new information is actually okay right now I feel like we've been sort of bombarded with information but I do like this almost like gentle approach to learning something new right now um and especially sort of more part way through the month I kind of see that after the portal so it's like taking those action steps with a bit of curiosity you've got nothing to lose in that space those synchronicities or the people that keep coming back up into your field take note you know what is it that I potentially could offer here or what is it that I could potentially receive is there yeah am I investing my money for my um my spiritual evolution and my growth where are you holding back from that space um and we've all been I feel like guilty of that where it can be those small decisions too that just take me to the supermarket where you're looking at like two can or two jars of tomato paste and the organic one's a dollar more and you kind of go oh it, it, organic always you know this and if it's like oh but I don't have the abundance well work with abundance do this piece deal with the emotions that come up <laughs> and follow through it's like following through with actually what you already know in this space as well but if you need the skill set to learn the feeling and sensation of abundance then go do that part if this is something that is kind of getting boring now <clears throat> distractions have been amplified so distractions amplified see what puts you off track I feel like we saw that last month. There will be less of that this month, but we have become very aware of what is what can be distracting. So that can be social media, that can be a particular company, that can be loops and patterns programs that we start running that take us off course or in a place where we can't be of service. Um, it can be health elements, so creating physical illness or disease in the body in order to check out. It can manifest in, in different ways, but where have we been distracting ourselves and how can we actually now step away from that space? Do you need support in order to move into more light to work with your self-worth to love yourself deeper it's all a journey but it feels important um there's a higher calling you know and we're here for a reason and a purpose remind yourself of that every day uh really really important it's not a time to be making decisions or spending time in environments because you just don't want to deal with the other stuff uh mm -mm. So serious, but not so serious. <laughs> um, I like that because they've put it, it. It's we've gone from a selfish month to really coming into like bridging more into tribe and community. And I think that that we can see how it's sort of all tying together now. I can anyway. I hope you can too. But how all the little themes sort of work together and they create like a really beautiful story. So we mentioned that piece with the tribe and community and being of service. Um, we are really moving into that transitional period. And sometimes that's just about reminding yourself your why. What's the value behind what it is that you're here to do? You know, it, it's important. And sometimes we do need to remind ourselves in order for our heart to be on track. And this is not, again, not about putting yourself on a pedestal or for followers or fame or all these other sort of all that that shit's bullshit. Uh, follow your heart if 
you are working online and on a platform and you've got three people there, those three people are really, really important. Um, and I love to say that to myself, you know, if I can just help one person this week, I would be stoked. And it really feels that way. And then sometimes it's like, you know what I want to, I want to make more impact or more expansion. And we work with that, but we do this from a place of offering value and listening to our soul, listening to our spirit, listening to our guides, responding through grace all right relationships i'm going to chuck this one in here i want to finish on a positive note and this is a positive note although it can there's a whole mixed bag going on here when it comes to relationships i actually feel like there's been endings and there is endings at the moment so separation people are taking breaks from one another because they just need some room to breathe to really feel themselves i also feel like there's new beginnings in relationships so actually old flames almost coming back as like, or like people you knew or you grew up with if you are single and there's this like long-term tie almost like contracts to complete that piece or to go on that journey with somebody else um conception so if you've been trying to get pregnant i actually feel like it would be a really beautiful month um for that i saw through some of these gateways of opening new souls actually coming in so we had a big burst of this about 11 months ago and i feel like there's another wave beginning um uh, yeah, it, it would be a really, really beautiful month, but that makes my heart feel all warm. And marriage is another thing. You might hear of friends, family members, proposals, almost like a commitment. It, it's like, but there's lots of different shifts, but they're big shifts inside of relationships. And I feel like this also comes in with the relationship to yourself. I do want you to put yourself first with this kind of trickling on with this almost like self-realization work that we are constantly doing but it's also in order to be able to be of service to other people um, and so if your relationships at the moment are feeling like really intense or they're not fulfilling enough or you feel like you want to meet new people please follow that prompts I feel like community and tribe but intimacy and I don't know it just feels like there's a bit of a, like a, we're stepping up this month um, and doing what's best for you in order for it to be best for everybody else so if you are going through a separation, I'm really sorry. I know that that is really hard. Um, if you are craving or ready for relationships, the learnings, the lessons that come with that, partnerships, it's a really beautiful time to pop yourself out there, get you beautiful self all dressed up and, you know, do something that feels fun and free. Little baby risks is the feeling. Pop yourself into, you know, if you've been talking about with someone and you just, you think, you know what, bugger it, I'm going to go on that date now. If we're ready to go for it. Um, spice up your relationship if things are going really well at home for you inside of your relationships I think it can be a really beautiful month intimately I feel like it's like this really fun sort of exploratory nature when it comes to um, sexual intimacy and chemistry um, but it's created it feels like playful there's no rush it's um, yeah it feels really lovely in that space and it kind of feels really exciting so I feel like it, <clears throat> as a collective it's quite hard to read intimate relationships because we're all having different experiences depending on where we are um but I do feel like they're bigger shifts this month um wherever you are in that space I feel like I'm going to close it there for August. Um, I feel like I could talk just until the cows come home. I'm really intending myself this month to share a little bit more. I've had quite a quiet few months um, on my own journey and just feeling almost like I've loved this one-on-one -on -one connection with clients and I've been doing a lot of reflection and work behind the scenes. Um, but I, I intend this month as well to share a little bit more with you. I am going to be doing a giveaway on my personal Instagram page. You can find that at your heart's path. I'm going to be giving away, um, one of my foundations of intuitive living courses. So it's valued at $260 and it's amazing. It's all set up in four parts or four parts video series. There's some journaling notes, prompts. Uh, there's a practical implication of this. And it goes right from awareness, the difference between spirit and soul, body, what is grounding and embodiment, how do we actually do this? We talk about visualization, protection, a whole array of different pieces, utilizing your voice, your commands, your relationship with your guides, intuition as a skill set. So intuition being different to our spiritual gifts sort of they stem from that place but it's as intuition is something that everybody has it's very natural and organic and it is a skill set that we can learn and our spiritual gifts kind of stem and grow from that place 
Uh, so I am going to be doing a giveaway in the next couple of weeks. So jump over there if you're not already. Please leave a comment. I'd love to know who's been here. Um, say hi. How are you feeling? Um, and the last little thing that they wanted to chuck in this month, I'm just trusting. <laughs> they wanted to pop in uh, like a little list of almost like animal totems. And interestingly enough, the animals were a ladybird. I would almost refer that to like good luck, um, but there's a whole different symbology around that. Work with what it means to you versus Googling it, I wanna say. Um, but the ladybird came up, the rat, um, I'm just gonna leave that there. The owl and a pigeon. And they were the four animals that they shed. Um, pigeons are actually really funny. I, I love them. People look at they they get called um, rats, don't they? I don't know. I feel like there's something around that. <laughs> but anyway, I've always found them really beautiful. Um, it's not something I'd probably touch or pick up or snuggle, but um, for some reason that came up. And sometimes these things can come up because you can be walking through the city and you see a pigeon and then you have this moment and you see someone who looks familiar and it can be like a pay attention moment um, but it could also be something that visits in um, dream time it's almost just planting a seed for curiosity I feel like there can be a synchronistic experience to follow from those um, beautiful animals I love the animal spirits as you guys know but that's a wrap kind of relieved that we're in a different energy to July well done for making it through kindness it's all about heart this month uh, get in there soften up give it a go Life can be, you know, all sorts of things, super challenging and, and also super fun and free. And I feel like, yeah, we get realistic with ourselves this month and that can mean putting in that extra effort or that extra piece of work in order just to shift yourself vibrationally just a little bit to get that momentum going that it starts to feel a bit more easeful, but it's available. Um, so yeah, I hope this finds you super duper well. Please leave a comment, say hi, like, share with your friends, your family, post it to social media. I love your assistance and it, it all assistance with expansion and exposure. It all really helps me, um, you know, share my gift with the world. Um, and I'd just love to, to know who you are, how you are, where you are in the world. Um, thank you for being here and I wish you a beautiful and expansive month in August. Happy Lionsgate Portal. Mwah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>